Uh, welcome to show 75. DJ Format is back. With a new album as well. So this is what we're going to be talking about today. Yep. And this is what's on in the background. It's the feeling. It's, it's the feeling. feeling. Enough with these gimmicks, my rap has no respect to speak. Feel nice chill. Super fast head nodding. <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant, I have to say. Yeah. So Matt, tell us a little bit about, well obviously you, uh, you will be uh, doing the interview, but obviously this is coming out on the 28th of October. 28th of October, yeah. DJ Format and Filmost Chill, the Foremost. There you go. Absolutely killing it. There is a um, sampler video at the moment, if you haven't seen it, I'm sure most of you lot watching have, because we've tweeted it out there totally. on Facebook, but... If you haven't seen that, see it, you'll buy the album even regardless, I think, because you'll hear this and think, I want that. So, yeah. It just goes to show that quality hip-hop is still being made. So By this man. Yeah. And feel most chill. That's right. Thanks, Chuck. And this is the Village Crusaders, a uh, little 45 called Akiwawa. Akiwawa. There you go. You see? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's worth the wait, trust me. Nah, I always love it when Format comes in and shit because he always brings so much stuff that just puts our stuff to shame. Yeah. Oh. Just <laughs> you boxes of records are falling down around us. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Ah, it's alright, it's all live. It's, it's all live. live. You lot will be having your notepads out, desperately trying to spell Akiwato. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just, this, is this is another reason why you do need to go and see this man live, because this is the sort of stuff that he plays and it is fantastic. Yeah. And the break comes back shortly, so we'll, I think, time for a little edit and... <laughs> As if by magic. <laughs> Two weeks. Nice. Oh, yeah, oh, yes. Yeah. Brand new to the just box. Got recently, yeah. I've been after it for a while. Um, I just spotted it on eBay, I'll be honest. It was uh, it's up for buy it now, so. There we are, uh, how much it was. I don't actually remember, but I'm just trying to think actually. Not not around the sort of £50 right. mark, but it was in dollars and totally. money for the postage, yeah. so it, yeah. it wasn't cheap. But hey, it's, but it's there a is a reason for that, yeah, it's totally. Uh, this is something that I've had on album for a long time and was very surprised to find it on a 45 on, uh, in Germany about two weeks ago for nice. uh, two euros. <laughs> uh, Kenny Burrell's version of Burning Spear. Oh, wicked. There we go. Wicked. Such a quality track anyway, but that, uh, that nice bold guitar yeah. sort of like going along is fantastic. It's awesome. Yeah, and again, the break comes back later in yeah. the song. So. Yeah. Moving swiftly. I know we've got limited time, so what are we doing? Going to the interview? Uh, no, uh, one one more, more, let's have one, one more, more track one from more, the new more. album that's okay, coming out, yeah. shall we? Okay, this is Digging for a Living from the new album, The Foremost. There you Sorry, go. Starting to go a bit overboard promoting it, but no, yeah. no, 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 that's right. Yeah, it's kid. Well, and that's basically what we do, isn't it? We dig for a living. Digging for a living. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, we will be playing another track from the forthcoming album as well after uh, a great interview about the album. So there you go. Um, so should we go to that interview right now? We're going to get a little bit of information about this track, but I also think we should let it get to the chorus. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right, well, that's, that's, that's coming. That's right. coming. Yeah. <laughs> so just look at our some faces, my place. <laughs> we always look a bit uncomfortable at this point. <laughs> here we go, here we go. This is actually me and Chris singing this one. Yeah, that's right, we were the backup singers. Yeah. You got some nice singing. Not, not credited. No, not credited, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's uh, Matt's theme tune. So. Oh, yeah. so let's have a chat with the great man himself. 
Well, welcome, shed brother like no other. It's uh, DJ Format back in the shed. Yeah. Back. Yeah. Yes. And uh, obviously. Nice yeah. to be back. Yeah, nice to be back. Very right. nice to be back. It's yeah. a bit messier than last time. There's more records, <laughs> but more snacks. <laughs> Brad did us proud with, yeah. well, out, out of camera shot, there's a lot of junk food up there. So Buffet. Yeah. I'm going to be leaving about a stone heavier. So well, that's cool. Yeah, good work. Yeah. So, of course, you have got a new album coming out. Yep, yep. And, yeah, uh, and uh, Phil must chill. Yeah, together. and pretty, pretty soon, I might add, right? When's the yeah, actual date? It's Monday the 28th. Right, so, so October. Six so. days away. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, we we'll have to remember the <laughs> filming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The shed TARDIS. Yeah. So how did you and Phil Most Chill actually hook up so soon after the Statement of Intent album? Um, well, as you know, Phil guested on the yeah. last album with, with Sure Shot on Live at the Place to Be. Yeah. And at that time I was trying to give Phil a couple of fast beats. That the, the idea was that he would you know feature on that album on a solo track, but for whatever reason I just couldn't quite get my act together. As usual I was overthinking it. Mm. You know, I didn't have the perfect beat to give him. And the funny thing was, was when we started talking about the idea of doing some stuff together after Statement of Intent, um, I, I said to him, well, you know, I've got this beat that I meant to I meant to give to you, you know, for the last album, but I just didn't feel it was quite, quite right, I hadn't quite nailed it, and I didn't want to send it to you. And he was like, don't worry about it, anything that's even rough, just send it to me and, you know, see what happens. And that song ended up being The Feeling, which mm. people will yeah. hear. Yeah. Well, you've probably seen it on the video clip. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, for me, it's, well, it's, I don't know, it might be my it's favorite. It's the one I said it's to you really straight away, isn't it? It's yeah. the one that really yeah. grabs you by the balls. Yeah. <laughs> You know, with that crazy feedback loop. Yes, we can have it. Yeah. So yeah, I sent that to Phil. Of course, he immediately got inspired, wrote to it, and and I, it just changed my approach. It's like, right, okay, so I don't need to, you know, get so OCD here. I can just throw together some rough beats and and try and change my approach and work more the way Phil works, which is just like I say, just raw. Throw together some ideas and you know, don't overthink things. Mm -hmm. So so that was kind of the the start of the process. And we just sort of continued to work like that, really. Um, he was sometimes writing songs, you know, bef before I'd even sort of put the finishing touches on the last uh, song that he'd sent right. the vocals over for. You know, I'd sent him another loop, a, a rough loop, and he'd written another song to that, and it, I couldn't keep up with him. Wow. He was just because yeah, he does he seem quite inspired. prolific because he's worked with quite a few English people. Yeah, because yeah, he, yeah, he did yeah, that fantastic. Track. Yeah, Chris yeah. Reed. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think again, speaking to Phil, um, it, it just seems that he he just very much while he's got the inspiration, he just wants to keep writing and, yeah. and why not? Doing as much. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, you can't really you can't really question his approach. It's it's just it's not about you know taking over the world or trying to be a big shot. He's just like look, I just want to make some music that hopefully people you know love and remember me for and while I'm inspired I just want to do as much stuff as possible yeah. so and I think like most to... people are gonna fall over themselves to try and get a copy of this oh, because I, I mean you know just enough. from the just from the the, the promo uh, video that you put up yeah fantastic yeah. and so many fast raps yeah everyone yeah. secretly loves a fast rap yeah, yeah. and uh, uh, was that a conscious thing is uh, like for both of you or was that you Giving him the beats that were fast, or vice versa, or did you? Yeah, the temptation was there, f f you know, for me to obviously keep giving him fast beats. Yeah. If, if I'm honest, we had to, we had to really sort of have a chat about the idea of not just making it all fast mm. raps. You know, I, I sort of said to Phil, my idea would be that we need to, you know, show a bit of versatility. Yeah. And he was in total agreement. You know, we. As much as you might love your fast raps, you don't want to yeah. have ten fast yeah. rap songs on one album. That's not going to have enough variation. So, is there a is there a love rap and a house rap like, you know, it, like back in the nineties? Well, there's, you'd there's always no. get a house rap and a love rap, didn't you? Do you know what there is? You you might remember from the video sampler. There is this yeah. song called Beverly, which yeah. is kind of. You know, certainly yeah, but it hasn't got a spandau ballet loop, though, no, 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 there's no, yeah, there's no LL Cool J on no, there. Right, it's not like that. that. No, no, but, but we, we just wanted to, you know, show a bit of, of you know, diversity, really. Yeah. And, and, you know, there's not only different tempos, you know, there's, uh, for example, it's another fast song, but Take a Stand mm. is is a more sort of positive song from, you know, Phil's perspective as a, a, a black man living in America in yeah. 2013. You know, I thought that was important that... Yeah. Um, we don't just have all brag raps because you know that's yeah. my favourite stuff. I, I hold my hands up. Yeah. You know, I do love that stuff. But over the course of an album, you've you've, you've got to cover some different topics. So sure. I'm, I'm happy that I think you know Phil did that. <laughs> do, will there be any twelves coming off of it? 
Well, <laughs> God, I haven't even got the album out yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think so. Yeah. Um, I've got a, a, a break lined up for a nice remix of Angry yeah. Birds, actually. Just something that's just perfect. You know, I wasn't intending on doing anything mm, with yeah. that song particularly. I just happened to listen to this record I had and think, damn, that would make a perfect remix of Angry Birds. So. I'm sure there will be something because again the response to the the you know just the news that the album's coming out as yeah. the response has been amazing so yeah. I think, yeah I could probably justify you know oh, I think you should milking it a little bit more yeah, why not? 12 inch you know maybe a, maybe a some coloured vinyl yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know maybe maybe even a, a new exclusive song who knows who knows one mm. step at a time we want to yeah. see the DJ format picture disc we do we do <laughs> that, that was one from the first album don't forget did you what was that? yeah did you not get that the, the first album from the mature B boy there's a picture disc there yeah, is Psycho Pab from the Psychonauts. Yeah. He did a like a little sort of album mega mix that, that mm. was really good, and I think it was about ten minutes long. And basically, we we did a picture disc where it's just the same pressed on both the same mix pressed that. on both sides. In fact, I think I think originally it was a ten minute mix for a promo CD, and I think we whittled it down to seven minutes for the vinyl, just so yeah. that it could be nice and loud. Yeah, something like that. Anyway. Oh. To check that out. So yeah. they, well, I've, I've got a box of my home. So oh, yeah, right, nice. Well, we'll expect one in the post yeah. shortly. <laughs> <laughs> um, in yeah. regards to, to this album, I mean, uh, obviously you're very well known for being a prolific digger. Yeah. Um, and obviously I'm not going to be asking for your secrets of uh, what brakes you've been using and stuff like that. Yeah. But have the brakes changed since the last album in regards to obviously faster and stuff but have you been looking in more obscure places and, and um, stuff like that because I, I heard some quite psychedelic sort of yeah. guitar stuff yeah, in, in some of those tracks in, yeah yeah, yeah. And I so mean, you know my, what's my, your secret brother <laughs> 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 uh, it's, it's no secret it's just yeah it's just me as usual just sort of hearing records that inspire me and you know certain things just catch your ear and you think yeah that might make a good loop for like say working with someone like Phil you you can kind of hear the sort of loop that would sure. suit him I know the kind of thing that he's going to respond to yeah best um but i don't yeah i, I didn't really have a, a a very different approach but one thing that i did think was important because we're making what you could say is predominantly an old style of, of yeah. hip-hop it's we're not just you know dinosaurs making old school rap you know we're definitely bringing something new to this yeah. and i personally feel that it's important to to not just use classic breaks. I mean, it's cool if people yeah. do that, but for me personally, as a producer, I wanted to show off some of the breaks I've got and, mm. and you know, of course. Yeah. utilize them to the best of my ability and make sure if you're doing that kind of classic rap genre, I think it is important to bring something new to it. And Phil totally agreed, and obviously with his lyrics, you, you know, he's not just, while he does have that kind of, you know, yeah. late 80s flavor, he's just, he's naturally funky. He, he just, mm. you know, he, he yeah. will, make you sort of go back to he's got an amazing and and a, an amazing mind. flow to him and yeah. it's just so yeah. refreshing so to hear that yeah well. totally so, so while he does obviously you know sort of take you back to those days he he also you know he's he's you know updated his style as well and you yeah know, i think that he's he's more advanced than than you know oh, how totally. he and other people were rapping in the 80s and early 90s and yeah, like yeah. so i think the beats had to match that so I didn't want to use stuff that had, you know, been. There, there was what, a, a song actually, "Get Busy Music," that yeah. again people will hopefully hear. <laughs> um, that it's just a, a, a subtle little thing, but the break that I used, it really reminded me of the classic James Brown uh, "Say It Loud, I'm Black and I'm Proud." It right, really reminded yeah. me of that drum break, and so I originally took the uh, from "Say It Loud." Yeah. And that was originally in the song, and obviously myself and Phil, we really got used to it, just having the uh stab in there. And then when it actually came to, you know, I just sent it to Phil as a raw sort of idea. He, he yeah. wrote the raps. I, I sort of added the cuts and, and, and actually added a lot of music to that song that wasn't there originally. And I felt it was really important to take out that James Brown uh, because it was a James Brown record. And, and, yeah. and that's cool. You know, I love James Brown records more but, than most people, but I didn't want to just sample a James Brown record on it. I wanted it to be something Fresh that was yes yeah, yeah, yeah. Un, something unused so i just used a little uh, from from a different record and it was funny because i remember phil saying to me you know with, via email you know like, ah, this 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 new uh that you've replaced the james brown one with it's not quite has got the energy and i said no it hasn't but we know that because you know we've heard yeah. the, no one else will you know they'll just hear the, the, the you know well, the, the finished version and, and pe never people who ain't going to be watching this are probably thinking that he's got some crazy cover version of James Brown saying that I'm Black and I'm yeah. Brown they're going to be out there looking for it 
Oh, I hope so. I, I, do you know what? I've got a Polish version of that. Really? Where, yeah, and um, not not to obviously mock them because you know, fair enough. In in those days, I mean, this is from I think 1960. We get four million nine, viewers in Poland. Yeah, 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 we're huge in Poland. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but obviously in those days, you know, it was probably very hard to even hear music from yeah. America. Yeah. You know, in in places like Czechoslovakia, but it's it's, a, it's actually a Czechoslovakian album I've got where they do a version of Say It Loud. And they're, I think they're singing, it, it's credited on the record as something like Pay It Loud or Fay It Loud or something like that. They've, they've not kind of mastered yeah. the English. Um, and it's, it's quite bizarre to hear. I'd love it's, to hear it. Yeah, <laughs> and they also do Get Out of My Life Woman. That really? Is, is, oh. They get the English a little bit wrong on there. There's a couple <laughs> of other, I think there's another James Brown one. And it's, it's yeah, so I've got a cover version of Say It Loud, right, but it's, right. uh, it's, it's like a live recording, so it's not oh, okay. something you can really sample, but right, Get but Out of My Life Woman's quite a sort of Hendrix. But being, a, like, being, uh, being the digger that you are, it's good to have, isn't it? They're just lovely that, to have, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and yeah, I guess yeah. also, because the more you dig, the longer you dig, the more you get things that you're not used to having and beats that no one else has got and maybe yeah. that's also reflected in the stuff that you're playing yeah you, you know or you're using pile of an stuff, arsenal you know? yeah, yeah you, you kind of you know it's usually the things that you've got most recently that you find you're naturally reaching for because they're the things that are freshest in, yeah. your, in your mind and you're sort of desperate to use them but it's nice to be able to dig back through stuff that you've had sometimes for years yeah which, ah, finally i'll get to use that break because yeah. there's a lot of stuff you know anyone that digs and collects a lot of yeah of records will know that you, you stockpile for a yeah. so much stuff and you only ever use a tiny percentage of That's it. It's right. just the way that it goes, you know? Yeah, totally. And sometimes you hear someone use a break that you've had for years and you've been meaning to use. Yeah. <laughs> should have been quicker, but it's just, you know, there's only Say hours vie. in the day. Yeah, yeah. Talking of digging, you've made your uh, very own theme tune on this album, haven't you? Know? Yeah, yeah, well, as much <laughs> as you're talking about me and you guys yeah. digging, I mean, Phil Most Chill, Obviously, he used to do you know his World of Beats column as under the name of mm. Soul Man. You know, mm. people will know that in the what, the early nineties. Was it Rap Sheet or Rap Pages? Yeah, I can rap, never remember. Rap. There was two. There were two. There were it was Rap yeah, Sheet and Rap Pages. And so, yeah, I sorry, know. Phil, mm. I'm forgetting which one it was. But anyway, he used to do those columns back then because he was obviously a you know a major digger, major, you know with major knowledge. I mean, mm. he was going off and doing the. The, the record conventions in New York and obviously selling beats to the likes of, you know, to name drop too much, but probably, you know, Pete your large Rock. professor, <laughs> you know, Pete Rock, um, uh, you know, Q Tip, all those Pete guys, Rocky. you know, yeah, all those guys, you know, Phil, I would imagine, was selling to all of those guys. You right. know, he's, he's, a, he's a known guy to. Do you ever trade with him? No, I never have actually. Oh, no, right. no, I never have. Interesting. Maybe yeah, you should. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's out on. Um the 28th? Yeah, Monday the 28th. It's um, called The Foremost and yeah. it's DJ Format and Filmos Chill. It's not DJ Format featuring Filmos Chill. It's, it's, it's a absolutely it's a, it's a collaboration yeah. of you know the With two brilliant of us artwork. in equal. Yeah, uh, brilliant uh, artwork. Uh, have we got something to mention? Is it? Shouts to Mr. Crumb Mr. again Crumb, for yeah, the fantastic yeah, yeah. artwork. The little yeah, touches, yeah. the RPMs, yeah, uh, sorry, yeah. the BPM, sorry, and yeah. the little. The, the right in written, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It, that's that's sticky tape. Mr. Crumb just yeah. and, the, and the promo video as well was again was Jeff Metal yeah Jeff, Jeff Metal, Metal did the, the editing paint and yeah. Paint Shop Studio yeah. um, did the painting and you know yeah. together they kind of came up with the idea and yeah I thought talked to myself and Phil a little bit and yeah you know, it's fantastic I thought it was better yeah, than the last one yeah, yeah well, that, really that was really I can't believe you could get better but it was better yeah. that's the thing they set the the bar so high with the with the the statement video for statement of intent that that was the the main challenge we're like how how the hell are we going to make mm. it better? Yeah. But hey, you know those guys did make it better. It's obviously, with the you know the sort of I don't know what you call it, but the animation, you know, where Phil's yeah. rapping with the hand movements, yeah. that's just way more advanced. So yeah, uh, they, yeah. I, I, I apologise for not knowing her name. I think it's Amelia Cullen. But anyway, a, a girl called Amelia was responsible, I know, for a lot of the um, oh, right. After Effects. So. Uh. Yeah. Or Dan Amelia. Well. Yeah. yeah. Her, her credit is on the end of the yeah. video. So. DJ Luca loved it, although not as much as the Grand Old Duke of York, which he was in the <laughs> <to> play. <laughs> so vinyl, obviously, C D and CD MP3 for the kids. Digital. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you wanna yeah. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. If yeah. you want a lesser experience, it's no, but uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, and there may well be some test pressings that are a limited the, edition. Well, the, the, yeah, I, yeah, I don't want to tease people. There were tease test people. Well, people there, love there, to be there, teased. There, there, there were test pressing bundles available um, for about an hour, but they, they sold out. It was a oh. limited thing, so mm. it was just a little package of you know test pressing, 
that, that Mr. Crumb is sort of hand making each one and they're, they're slightly different. Mm. Anyway, don't want to tease people, but there was that. Uh, well, we're, we're teased. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, a, a Project Blue Book uh, t shirt just with the logo, which has come off the record label, just the oh, old bubble wrap. Oh, bloody hell, man. No, I know. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, just thought I'd ask you on the end here, just yeah. Simon Sound. The Simon Sound, yeah. yeah. Simon's recently uh, put out a 10 inch actually yeah. that's incredible. The beam. Uh, yeah, the beam, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the journey on the monorail. It's, yeah. it's, it's very hard to describe it. I would suggest yeah. that people actually check the video to accompany the mm. uh, the incredible music because yeah. when you actually see it with the video, it the makes it the it's journey together, that it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is, um, you know. This is something that I can't take any credit for. I've got to absolutely, you know, give Simon his due. This was something that he just did, mm. you know, while while I guess I was sort of busy doing, you know, my album with Phil and sort mm. of focusing on that. And and Simon had, you know, he'd already done one of the songs as a commission, um, and then he came up with the new one. And he said, oh, maybe I should get out some more vinyl. So, yeah. yeah. Don't sleep on the Simon Sound 10 inch because oh. it, yeah, it, it was very limited edition. And mm. I, I, yeah. I think he does have some left, but cool. yeah, check cool. that out. There you go. Nice. Little plug for nice. the Simon Sound. Well, there you go. Cheers. Well, thanks. So you're good at this. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of product placement. Well, yeah, why not, eh? Uh, well, thanks awfully for coming into the shed again. Thanks very much. And uh, obviously, we're going to be uh, jo records. joining you tonight as well as uh, having you play a few records. When you say tonight, don't forget, oh, yeah, we are technically week, yeah. in a, we're <laughs> in a time well, machine yeah, well, yeah. and, you know. <laughs> Well, when we're going to be, when gonna be joined, joining you a week and a bit ago. Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> we, we've got to remember the yeah. script. So yeah, yeah. you'll you'll have you'll have this. enjoyed your night. Three nights yeah, ago, we yeah. had a brilliant time at the yeah. Bowling Alley with you. There you go. Something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, you got sick all over my floor. <laughs> <laughs> Just in his fridge. Oh, no. I can't believe you did that. <laughs> anyway, so, cheers. Let's play some records. Yeah, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Cool. Cool. A little sneak preview from the. Uh, this is Triple Threat MCs uh, featuring Oxygen and Emski, and together with Filmos Chill, they're known as the Rampagers. Well, there you go. Triple Threat on the set with all the clouds. We got flows on tap and DJ format to that. Here's what we be at. Triple Threat on the set with all the clouds. We got flows on tap and DJ format to that. Here's what we be at. Everyone likes a posse cut. <laughs> and if by magic, we do actually have uh, Ox coming in in a couple of weeks as well. Good timing. <laughs> True schoolers in the 40s, we all lack Metaphor stack, once the pennies to loosely Attacking the drum tracks, what I do, G I'm the tone flowing, for those not knowing It's the ox from L.I.I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so 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 through the roof, now I believe I still need proof Even though my balls are paired up like Bluetooth Dominating force, fantastic Still did destroy your classic yeah, Definitely one of my favourites off the album Nah, it's brilliant, it's totally good So, so I'll know we like to keep it brief Shall I move on to another break? Why not? You can do whatever you bloody like, mate, honestly, yeah but yeah, let's uh, let's let's go uh, delve deeper into uh, Matt's box. This is something I just picked up off my man Palmer in Ipswich the other week. So big shouts to Palmer. Uh, this is Voodoo Man by the Quartet Tribian, I believe. Uh, nice. Not sure about my pronunciation. Wicked bass line. It's beautiful. fantastic condition but it's such a good record I had to just snap hey, it up. You know? It plays, really crackles good. just bring the authenticity to it. Really. Yeah. I don't know, it doesn't say. Yeah they don't have, do they, on a, on quite a few of them. It sounds 67 to me on it. Maybe the early nice, yeah. nice. No, I don't think it would be earlier. Wicked I think so. Yeah, yeah, really nice. And later in the song get some nice vocals. Uh -huh. yeah, really smooth nice. kind of Latin stuff. Really nice actually. Yeah, really cool. There you go. Cool. I already, already tried on Discord, so I didn't find any more copies. So there you go. Very nice tune. Cool. So, uh, what have we got coming up next? Uh, well, I know you guys like to do your theme of the week thing, so I've got something that's not officially a theme, but it sounds like a cop show theme, so I thought I'd you know, cut cool. that in for you. It could, it could be the new theme to Silk and Smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's we'll right. See. Okay, so my, my fake cop show theme. Satinus by Andre Brasseur. Awesome. I'm not sure about my pronunciation. No, well, I'm pretty sure the. Uh... We could be a cop show, there's three of us, we could be like Charlie's Angels. <laughs> <laughs> you can see us in bikinis. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Spider's legs hanging out everywhere, <laughs> the odd testicle. 
<laughs> it just makes it more desirable. It does, it does. <laughs> I'm tripping over records everywhere. I'm sorry. This is wacky. Yeah, I knew you guys would like this. Yeah, I, mean, I like how he's kind of made the synth sound like a police yeah. siren. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Once again, proving that Belgium is funky. Yeah. Yeah. Family, family. Yeah. Totally. Uh, DJ Grasshopper's from Belgium, yeah. so. You know. That should be enough for it. Yeah, there's a, there's a boy, obviously, uh, Andre Brasser, there's a couple of... Um, Mark Moulin? Yeah, quite a few yeah, fun scenes. Yeah, that that's ritual, Nico Gomez. Oh, yeah. Nico yeah. Gomez, yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. And uh, I think there's another um, group as well, El Schickles, is it? Yeah, 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 well. yeah, that's true. So there you go. There you go, Belgium, getting funky. That's right, it's not all about chocolate and... Uh, <laughs> Tintin. and la and lace. Belgian waffles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what are we doing? Where are we going next? Where are we going? Well, it's, 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 it's your call. It's your call. Okay, okay. All right, so. Okay. We've got one more for Mr. Format, and then it's a big bye bye from us. But uh, here we go with the next one. Okay, so the last song from me, one of my favourite recent purchases, The Living Us, with Steal Away. Kind of garage rock that gets really funky. So yeah, yeah. So check it out. Heavy drums. Yeah, wait for the breakdown. It's awesome. I've got to stop singing along. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> no, I've got to stop. <laughs> no, 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 keep it going. This is a cover. Um, actually, I was in Ipswich with my mate Ben the other day, and he played uh, a version of someone from James Brown's stable. Uh, Charles Austin. Or, uh, Leon Austin. Yeah, Leon Austin. And there's a version of this that's completely different, like a slow, funky version. Yeah, yeah well, it's, it's a gangsta break, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 So, I got a bit excited, I had to turn up the little... No, 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 no. Yeah. They're a really great song. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, I'll let this up a little bit. Unfortunately, uh, it's not cheap. But, uh, <laughs> no, uh, yeah, maybe me and Brad will prostitute ourselves Doing again. Guitar yeah. breakdown. Again? Okay. <laughs> Awesome selection uh, this week. This is fantastic. This is, mate. This is excellent. This yeah. kid come in and made us feel like we've got up our game every week. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to hear this, then you need to be getting uh, up to uh, where are you playing? Come, uh, this week. This, 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 week. this Scotland, Scotland, I believe, right? Friday. Uh, well, this Friday I'm in Brighton at the Concord uh, at, at the Craig Charles Funk and Soul Show on Friday night, Friday the 25th. And then Saturday the 26th, I'm at the Flying Duck in Glasgow. And Sunday the 27th, at the tunnels in Aberdeen. So, right, there you go. Weekend. See the band, check him out. That's right. Yeah, the album released on Monday the 28th. So, yes. well, busy weekend. Yeah, totally. And uh, we'll put all the details about where to pre-order your album now because you won't want to wait till Monday. You want to get your pre-order in. That's right. Do it. And uh, if you can't make it up to Scotland, then uh, there is a couple of people. Uh, me and Brad playing a breaking bread this Saturday as well. So, uh, yeah. So, um, if you are in the London area. Get yourselves it's down. It's, a it's free. In That's right. Section. That's right. You're going to be having all of the uh, the, the regulars. You've got Skeg. Um, tough cut. Tough cut is in the back in the house as well, and also you've got Steve Sleeve and uh, many others. Many get, others. Uh, Cope uh, MCing, of course. Yeah. So uh, yeah, get yourself down there where uh, me and Brad will most likely. Why some of these records might bundle Matt to the floor? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Take, we might bring this one with us. You never know. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we won't ruin it. But there you go. It'll be a good night. All right. Thank you, Matt. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers, Coming cheers. In third time in the Thanks shed. Thanks for listening to, to me to waffle on again. Ah, I appreciate it. It's all good in the hood. Perhaps songs for next There you go. Yeah, Thank you perfect very much. timing. There you go. We're Goodbye. all done. See you later. Cheers. Thank you, Matt. I've got some news for you, Matt. You drew one out. Well, honestly. On your, oh. my life. I'm trying to see who scored it, though. I see here. <laughs> hey! Right at the death. Yeah, one, one. Ricky yes! Ricky fucking... Come on. Oh. I think it was Ricky Lambert. That's what it's saying. That right, is yeah. amazing. I'm going to yeah. have a fucking donut. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that no. is amazing. Lovren. 89th minute.